Hi, I'm Kathy with a K with 105.9 The Wave, Hawaii's relaxing favorites while you work. So I had a phone call with Angela Johnson Reyes, uh, her book, Who Do I Think I Am? Chola Wishes and Caviar Dreams out now. Uh, I picked it up and uh, enjoyed it thoroughly, asked her a lot of questions. And that's the current tour she's on here in Honolulu. Two shows. Aloha Friday, October 21st, 2022. The 7 p.m. show at the Blaisdell Concert Hall. Sold out, 9.30 p.m. Tickets are available for that. Ticketmaster.com and the Blaisdell box office. And also she has a Saturday show, October 22nd at the Mac on Maui. Take a listen to how that's going. Angela Johnson Reyes. She is currently on a year-long tour of her book, Who Do I Think I Am? Stories of Chola Wishes and Caviar Dreams. Welcome back. A lot of people are like so excited. I know you know because all your social media has been blowing up and your second family and third family here throughout the islands. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm excited to be back. Your book, Who Do I Think I Am? I was giggling. I was laughing out loud. And I read your author's note that some names have been changed. <laughs> so that was really good. <laughs> But I really feel that fans and even people who know you, your life, they should just pick up this book and they can be assured that all the things that they've wanted to ask you about, it will be answered. And anything else, you'll have it in an upcoming stand-up special or a holiday gathering. So thank you for your time. Pick up. Who do I think I am? (laughs) Please pick up the book. You will enjoy it. Yeah, you can get it at Angela.com. To the point, page 168 explains exactly why you wrote this book. And I think it arrived at just the right time. Every story, every chapter gave a glimpse of how to just be you, be as vulnerable as you were throughout the book. When you started out, you're like, how much do I go in my journals? How much, you know, do I really share? Exactly. In the beginning, I shared a whole bunch. And then, you know, after the first draft, you go back and read, you go, ooh, do I really want to share this? Do I really want to say that? So I definitely went back and pulled some things out and adjusted some things. And there was actually, I I talk a lot about my dad and my relationship with my dad in the book. And I had more, I had a full chapter on my dad that my editor actually had me combine with a different chapter and take some stuff out. But before I I sent my chapter to my dad to let him read it first, because I wanted him to be aware of what I was writing in the book and what I was sharing about, you know, my childhood trauma and all of that. And just want to make sure that he was okay with it. So I remember I sent him that. And, and other than that, there were other stories. I was like, "Mm, maybe I don't want to share this one after all. But I got pretty vulnerable on the book for sure and, and put a lot out there. Who helped you fact checked or was it mainly your own journals? And um, who were your editors that helped you kind of decide how much, as this is your debut book, and oh wait, congratulations for even putting pen to paper or whatever technology you use to just pull together your stories, because some people say they're going to do the thing, and you did the thing, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who my, my actual editors were, Hachette Publishing, but in regards to of my family and friends, like mm-hmm. what helping me decide like what to put in, definitely my mom and my sister for sure. What happened when your mom, when you told your mom about you changing the spelling of your name? And I love that story, page 18, right from the get about how the, the sound, the ah, and then um, mm-hmm. later your mom saying how she wasn't really, you know, that thrilled about her own name, but that's cute. But right. that was just really powerful how sounds and what you respond to, you included it in your own life and how it uh, continues to carry throughout you, your faith. It's going to golf clap about all yeah, the things well, in the book. Thank you. Yeah, the story about my name is, my name is Angela, A-N-G-E-L-A, legally, and then I changed it to A-N-J-E-L-A-H. And I did that after a church service one time where the pastor was talking about the importance of names and how in the Bible, all a lot of the names have the A-H at the end of it, Sarah, Elijah, Jonah. And the A-H means the sound of God in multiple religions, Allah, Buddha, um, Yahweh, like the Ah is the sound of God. So having the A-H in your name means connected to God basically. So I put the H at the end of my name to be Angela with the A-H at the end Mm -hmm. to be connected to God. So that was the story behind that. And um, my dad still to this day will not spell my name like that. He will only spell it A-N-G-E-L-A. He's like, nope, that's what I named you. (laughs) 
Angela Johnson Reyes in concert here in Honolulu, October 21st, Blaisdell Concert Hall. Tickets for the 7 p.m. I think, is it standing room only? I think that one's sold out. Well, there no, may be we scattering. Added a late show. 9.30 p.m. We added a late show. 9.30 p.m. So there's tickets available for the late show only. And that's at Ticketmaster.com. Blaisdell Box Office also. You can go to Angela.com. Folks who may know you first and foremost for Nail Salon, a regular player in Mad TV, Bon Kui Kui, and I know that you have so many other characters that you've introduced over the five comedy specials that you have. Will your show, because it is a tour for Who Do I Think I Am, are you just uh, pulling stories from the book? Or is There's everything- definitely new, <laughs> new story. Oh, there goes the train. You hear the dole train in the background. Love That's- it. Listen, I got to do all the touristy things while I'm here on the island. Believe it. But no, there's going to be uh, lots of stories from my life. My life after COVID, how things have changed for me and my husband from, you know, moving from Los Angeles to the South and what it's like being a fish out of water, being a California girl living in the South, talking a lot about that. Even simple things that you don't realize, like, you know, I've learned, you know, when I go to a restaurant and I order iced tea, automatically comes with three pounds of sugar in it. You know what I mean? Like, that's what they call sweet tea in the South. And that's what we call diabetes in California. So, (laughs) Uh, The chapter 15, how do you spell sabbatical? There were chapters that I highlighted in the table of contents. Chapter 8, chin checked by Prince, ordained by Oprah. You got this girl. The Mangela, um, a sucker for stray dogs. Please don't die. Okay. That chapter 12, I was just like, literally like, I, I felt seen. And I think so many of the chapters that you have in your book, or just so many stories or paragraphs, people, women, men, all ages are going to be able to identify. And uh, that your frankness about seeking therapy or counseling and just really being able to have great conversations with your husband, just being able to see each other and continue to grow. I, I just love it. But that, how do you spell sabbatical? 2020. Your epilogue, Live Life with an Exclamation Point, uh, was a wonderful way to close things out. And I look forward to seeing you this Friday, 9.30 p.m., Blaisdell Concert Hall. Tickets are available. You can go to Angela.com or on Maui at the MAC at the Castle Theater, uh, 7.30 p.m. show. Angela Johnson-Rays, I really do appreciate you making time for 105.9 The Wave. Thank you so much.